I've been a fan of Bethesda games since Daggerfall. My dirty little secret is I've spent almost two years of my life playing their games. I've spent over 2,000 hours in Skyrim, 4,000 hours in Fallout 4, and 7,000 hours in Fallout 76. In fact, in 76 I've got 16 characters with five accounts, so that's got to be some sort of a record. Yeah, I admit I'm obsessed. Over the past three months while waiting for Starfield to drop, as well as 76, I've replayed Fallout 4 and Skyrim, and it's given me a real appreciation of the worlds that Bethesda have built for us and allowed us to inhabit. It's also given me an appreciation of how good Fallout 76 has become. This gives me great hope for Starfield, and now that I'm semi-retired, I won't have to feel guilty about playing in the office when I should have been working. I'm one of those weird sets of people who actually liked Fallout 76 before NPCs were added, and the difficulty was toned down. And at that time, you know, it was a genuinely intense game. Yes, it was buggy. It had re regular crashes on the PS4. It was annoying at times, but the early gameplay was nothing like I've ever encountered. That first day when hordes of low levels were running all over the place, wondering what to do and whether to wave or shoot at other low levels were genuinely funny. Trying to get across the map as a low level to Harper's Ferry in the hope of buying the lever arch rifle plan was nothing like I'd encountered in the game. It was genuinely scary. And that first time in the mire was like nothing I'd ever encountered in any game. It was an area I avoided if at all possible. It actually scared the crap out of me. So just before Starfield drops, I want to put on record about how much I enjoyed Fallout 76 and the community that's built up around it. It is a genuinely, it is a genuinely great game and I genuinely love playing it. I've tried other games in the past. You know, none came close to Skyrim, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Each time they pulled me back. I've tried pretty much every game that's been released at similar in the last few years. Not finished any of them. I get pulled straight back into 76 or Fallout 4 or Skyrim. But like most love affairs, it's time to come to an end. I'm sure I'll be back, but for now it's time to take a break and see how much better the next generation of games have become. Nothing beats Bethesda world building, so I'm genuinely excited for a new game for the first time since probably Fallout 76 launched. When Starfield drops next week, maybe this time I'll hit 10,000 hours if I actually live that long. Maybe I'll still be playing it when Elder Scrolls 6 drops, who knows. But before I go, I'll leave you with a question that we really all want answered. If Skyrim had an arrow to the knee and finally you're awake, Fallout 4 had another settlement needs your help, Fallout 76 had finally someone with the guts to help, what will Starfield have? Well, I hope to see you back at White Spring one day, and from now on, what little content I do will be based on Starfield. Thank you for watching and listening to my ramble, and hopefully I'll see you in a few days' time when I drop my first Starfield video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.